and welcome to Rockstar UK. I'm afraid I haven't been able to vlog a lot recently because uh, the weather here has been absolutely terrible. I don't, but I don't know if you can see today. Today is just absolutely gorgeous. So, what I plan on doing is um, giving the Focus ST a wash. Um, I'll take you around the car as well because I don't think I've actually properly shown you the car, all the modifications to it, um, and give you a little trip out in it. Uh, also, I'll just give you a quick update on the bike. Um, the bike is all, at the moment, as far as riding it and the way in which I like it, it is done. Um, and I would like to do carburetor, CVT tuning, and also put a new clutch in it. Obviously, I'll, I'll document all of that. Um, I keep looking um, at the Ultimate TRS headset. The one that Ryan's got is, or Burnout Bobby, as you might know, is just, oh, it just looks so much better. I mean, it does look nice. I have got the uh, TRS BMX style headset on my bike at the moment, and I love it to bits. Um, but all the big boys have got that, that nice ultimate one, so I might have to get that. Um, also, I need a new exhaust, so I'll probably end up getting um, getting a Yoshi one from the ruck shop. Um, just remember, I get all my parts from the ruck shop. Uh, if the ruck shop don't do them, I've got one of my fairings from here, Rakobu, um, directly from them. Uh, but everything else is from the ruck shop. Uh, so www.theruckshop.com go onto their online store order their parts the shipping is super quick and also their customer service is like second to none I mean you can hit them up on Instagram send them an email and they'll answer as quick as they can and their service is just brilliant um, I think delivery took it normally takes between two and four days but within two days I've got the stuff so um, so yeah Let's uh, enjoy the day. Oh, you're right. You're on it now. Oh, yeah. I right, just come to my brother's house to uh, have a bit of breakfast and drop some bits off. Um, I'm just helping him out on his jet ski. Um, what have we just done, Luke? Refitted the water pump. <clears throat> what what make is it? Procedo GTX. Oh. Uh, he had a little bit of an issue where it was doing what? It was cavitating. Cavitating. I thought it was the wearing, but it wasn't. So he's uh, found out the problem and just putting it all back together. It's a really nice condition one. But it's made, isn't it made for a wakeboarding or something? Yeah, it's a wake edition. So it's a wakeboard edition one, which he's got all his gear, all this sort of stuff. Um, so when I get back, I'm just going to start. Um, washing the, the Focus ST um, and we actually took the Escort out for a little run so uh, I'll uh, give that a wash as well. See you in a bit. Alright so just uh, washing the cars now um, so I've just put like a traffic film remover on the uh, on the ST which is the Avalanche Snow Foam. I'll um, jet wash that off and then go over it with like some lava, which is a, a car shampoo. I'll, uh, I'll do the same to the Escort as the ST, and then I'll put them away. Um, but I will take you for a spin in the uh, in the Focus ST because I haven't shown you that car properly. Um, I'll give it a clean up, and then we'll go for a spin. Uh, so that's the Focus ST washed. I'm literally going to use a bit of. Um, Finale Detailer, um, <coughs> which helps with a bit of a drying aid. So, I've got the big plush towel and this stuff. We just spray that on the panel and dry it off, and it literally helps to get rid of any watermarks and that sort of thing. So, once I've done that, I'll move the car out of the way and then I'll get on with the Escort. So, I'm all hot and sweaty now. So, uh, the escort's done. She's um, 
been nicely like polished up. I just used a little bit of that finale and then buffed it up afterwards. And she just shines beautiful. So um, I'm going to put her back now, get the ruckus out, uh, put the escort back in, uh, lock it all up, um, and then either later on or maybe tomorrow morning, I'll take you for a spin out in the Focus ST. So this is the next day. I had so much stuff to do yesterday that I thought uh, easy enough to do, the, do a little bit of a tour and a vlog today. So uh, this is my 55 plate Focus ST225. Uh, it's the Mark II. Um, it's had quite a few modifications done to it to aid its performance. Um, so if we, I'll run through them. So it's got an AirTech front mount intercooler. Uh, it's got a custom crossover pipe um, with Focus RS plugs, Focus RS uh, clutch. Um, it's got a Cobra Venom three inch turbo back exhaust system, including DCAT. Um, it's been uh, stage three mapped by uh, Bluefin. So if you go on their website, they give you a set of modifications which are good for a certain map. So, um, so it's got the stage three map and all the modifications to support it. Now, it is loud. I mean, in, in the car, it can be a bit overwhelming, especially when it's warm. Um, outside it's it's horrible um, <laughs> don't get me wrong I love the sound I love the noise but it's getting to a point where like it annoys the neighbors and stuff like that um, the drive wise it's very smooth these seats these Recaro seats really hug you um, they stop you from like side to side movement uh, very good on track the steering wheel is a lovely position. Um, it's it's nice and it's just like it's got like these little knobs and that which for your fingers to go around. It's not too big. It's it's just good size. Um, sitting position is good. You've got a clear view. Yeah, these A pillars are a bit a bit big, but with safety these days, they're getting bigger. and get some petrol because that is the natural watering hole of a Focus ST. I think I've spent more time in here than I do at home. Anyway, see you in a second. Safety first. Seatbelt always. Right, the weather today is absolutely disgusting typical British summer um, so let's go for a little drive um, so this car is approximately 320 325 brake horsepower based on the modifications and the map That's one of the best things about this car. The noise that comes out of it is absolutely incredible. That, it's got a five cylinder, uh, two and a half litre turbocharged engine, which is actually a Volvo engine. Um, but Ford did do a few tweaks and stuff to it. Uh, reliability, really good. Um, they. I've had this for two years now and touch wood I've never had an issue with it 
Uh, the only things I've had to do is stuff like tyres. I put new brake pads and brake brake discs on. Typical wear and tear parts. So, from a reliability point of view, this car has been probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Um, so how it, let's, let's go through how it drives. So I've already said about the seating position. Actual driving through the corners, it's quite well planted. You can definitely feel it's heavy on the front end. Oh, kangaroo. So you can definitely feel it's uh, heavy on the front end because of that big engine and it being front wheel drive. So all the weight's at the front. Um, when you're going through the corner, it does feel quite planted. It will, I've found, it will understeer but it's just about managing that power. Because of it, it's quite a torquey engine, it's quite, it's, you just have to deliver the power smoothly. But when it's mapped and stuff, that turbo does come in a quite bit, quite bit hard and quite punchy. Um, cruising wise, I've taken this on a trip up to see some relatives up north in uh, Blackburn, Huddersfield. I didn't feel tired because this car is so smooth and it drives itself. It, it does help that you can do the trip in quite a nice, nice manner of speed and eat up the miles and that. Braking wise, these are known for, especially for track use, if you put them through some hard pacing you will come through brake issues. So I, one thing I would up, would recommend is to upgrade the brakes on these. Um, as I've said, I've got a Cobra Venom exhaust, so don't go for that because it won't get you through the noise regulations on track. I'm just gonna go back. Right, so let's go through the refineries that are in the car and the specifications. So it comes with 18 inch wheels which I like the standard wheels. I think they look quite pretty. Uh, they do need spacing out a little bit. So if you can put like sort of like a 15 mil, 20 mil spacer on, just stance it out that little bit. Um, make the most, make them, you know, fill those arches out a little bit. Um, I've got Michelin tires on here, which I love. They're really nice. Uh, I think they're the Pilot 3s. They've been a good all-round tyre, and I, I can't fault them. So inside the car, you got air, I, this is the ST2, so it hasn't got the leather seats, it's got the cloth Recaros. Um, I prefer them. Uh, the leather splits and looks tired quicker, whereas with the cloth you can clean it, keep protecting it, um, and bring out that, in these ones obviously the blue colour. Um, you've got air conditioning, you've got heated front windscreen, which obviously is patented by Ford, and you've got a heated rear windscreen. The air conditioning blows cold. I mean, it, it's, it was it was an absolute godsend in the in the summer. Um, my kids are quite often in the back, so they've got two child seats which sit in the back, um, and they are safe as houses in there. I also put the dog in, all of the kit for the kids, like push chairs, um, picnic blankets, picnic baskets, all that sort of stuff can go in the back, there's plenty of room. I've actually got the service kit in the boot, which consists of like a foam insert and a spare wheel that sits in there. And then I've got some extra bits that I've put in there, such as a spare set of plugs, um, seat covers and stuff like that, where I put in those little compartments, just in case I need them at some time, or well, jump leads as well. Um, that's really it for the car. It's a powerful beast. Unfortunately, the weather's rubbish, so I can't really give it any boot because I will just slip all over the place. That's, even though it's got traction control, it's just, it's rubbish, in all honesty. So, quick one, 
under the bonnet again, like I said, AirTech front mount in the corner. I've got a BD performance intake, and that gives a nice induction noise and a, um, a nice throaty chatterback from the turbo. It really does gurgle and pop on that exhaust. Um, it's got a nice deep throaty noise. And then when you open it up, you, when you hit the higher RPMs, you can hear the that five pop roar, which is quite iconic to these vehicles. Obviously, the Focus RS is very similar. However, it having a slightly different turbo setup, I think it's slightly bigger. Um, it responds in a different way. So my um, my dad has actually got a Mark II Focus RS. Um, which is basically completely standard apart from a Miltech exhaust system. Um, this thing munches it, it's all over it. Um, so the Focus RS, the boost is nice and smooth. Um, its power delivery is nice and smooth. It's a harder ride, don't get me wrong, um, but this is nice and smooth, but when that boost comes in, sorry, pick me here, when that boost comes in, it comes in hard and it's just aggressive compared to the Focus RS in standard form. This isn't standard obviously, so that's why it responds in a different way. I'm actually considering selling this because I've had it for two years I want to try something different. I was thinking about the uh, something like a maybe a Honda Civic Type R um, but really I'm probably gonna have to get something a bit more sensible I've got two growing children and a wife and dog so I think it might be time for me to do Mr. Sensible and get myself a four-door um, diesel I hate that word diesel dark side um, but I might have to do it listen to this it's lovely 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 noise something different for a, a vlog today or this weekend um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, obviously we do ruckus content I do cars and all sorts probably be doing some work on my dad's mark 1 RS 2000 soon I've got to help him put the exhaust on um, and just basically do a check over before we do its first start up after it's had its engine rebuild um, so yeah I'll see you in the next video.